Hello everyone. The hackers who sometimes become a subject of curiosity for everyone are those who have uncovered the most astonishing information about NASA's hidden UFOs, deeply followed the Pentagon's weapon strategy, obtained and sold millions of credit card passwords internationally, and engaged in many other activities. In the cyber world, hackers are divided into two extremes, black hat and white hat hackers. Black hat hackers, also known as crackers, break the existing code of governments, institutions, and individuals' computers, steal their confidential information, even infect computer networks with viruses, rendering them inoperable, or pose serious threats to society through illegal actions. On the other hand, white hat hackers work as employees of computer companies, identifying security vulnerabilities in programs, developing and upgrading those sections, and modifying them according to the latest technology of the day. This way, systems are protected from black hat hackers who seek security loopholes. Just like in many other fields, the cyber world also witnesses fierce competition between good and bad actors, white hat and black hat hackers. Here are some of the world's most famous hackers and their mind-boggling stories. Kevin Mitnick He is the first hacker to be listed on the FBI's Most Wanted list. Known as the most notorious computer criminal in U.S. history, Kevin Mitnick infiltrated the communication networks of major telecommunications companies such as Nokia, Apple, Motorola, and Sun Microsystems, copied their programs, and gained access to departments, individuals' passwords, and emails, even seizing their private files. His first act was in 1979, when he was 16 years old, infiltrating the computer network of Digital Equipment Corporation, DEC, and stealing their software. As a result, DEC had to reorganize its software and incurred a loss of $160,000. Mitnick, convicted of his crimes, received two prison sentences between 1995 and 2000, and in 1998, totaling five years in prison and eight months of community service. Currently, he operates his own company in the United States, providing computer security consulting services to numerous firms as a white hat hacker and organizing international seminars on computer security systems. Gary McKinnon Gary McKinnon, using the pseudonym Solo, is known as the UFO hacker. One day, a shocking message appears on Pentagon computers. My name is Solo, your computer system is useless. I will destroy your entire computer system. Between February 2001 and March 2002, Gary McKinnon hacked into 97 computers belonging to the U.S. Army and NASA for a period of 13 months. Moreover, McKinnon carried out this operation from the study room of his girlfriend's house in London. When Solo was apprehended, he claimed that NASA was hiding a lot of information about UFOs and that he conducted this operation to reach that information. American government officials stated that McKinnon gained access to highly confidential files, made over 300 computers unusable with the virus he sent, and caused $800,000 in damages to the U.S. Army. Initially facing a 70-year prison sentence, Gary McKinnon had his sentence canceled when he was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, a form of autism. Due to this condition, which caused obsessive behavior and significant social problems in his personal life, Gary McKinnon was a true genius in the field of computers, easily solving even the most complex systems. Born in 1966, Scottish Gary McKinnon currently works as a computer software specialist for a company and resides in the United Kingdom. Adrian Lamo Adrian Lamo gained recognition as the homeless hacker because he used the computers and internet connections of internet cafes and libraries. He managed to breach the security networks of major companies such as Excite at Home, MCI WorldCom, Yahoo, Microsoft, and Google, gaining access to their most confidential information. He obtained famous individuals' profile passwords, including politicians and Hollywood stars, and even infiltrated some secret files of the FBI, accessing highly classified information owned by the U.S. government. However, it is unknown what he did with that information. Adrian Lamo is also known for breaking into the databases of corporations, compromising their security networks, and then notifying the companies about the vulnerabilities. He became exposed when he gained access to a secret section of the New York Times, 
leading to a 15-month manhunt by the FBI, and eventually he was apprehended in a shopping mall. As a result, Lama was fined $65,000, sentenced to two years of detention, six months of house arrest, and two years of computer restriction. He is currently free and working as a computer systems analyst. Vladimir Levin Russian hacker Vladimir Levin made headlines in 1994 when he transferred $10 million from Sidbank customers' accounts to his own account. He accomplished this by gaining access to account numbers, login passwords, and account profile details of the customers. After a warrant for his arrest was issued, he was extradited to the United States and appeared in court at the New York County District Attorney's Office. Levin was sentenced to a $400,000 fine as a restitution for the stolen $10 million. However, it was later discovered that Vladimir Levin did not possess the technical knowledge to breach Sidbank's system. After a lengthy investigation, it was revealed that a Russian hacker group sold the bank's login credentials and profile details to Vladimir Levin for $100. Kevin Polson Kevin Polson, known as the Black Hat Hacker of the 80s, used the alias Dark Dante. His most famous activity involved fraudulently obtaining a Porsche that the Los Angeles radio station KISS FM was planning to give away as a prize to the 102nd caller. Polson had already hacked radio channels before, so this task was not difficult for him. In his youth, he found a way to profit from the credit card payments made for phone sex services by infiltrating the network of 1-800 numbers advertised in newspapers. Following extensive investigations by the FBI, Kevin Polson was arrested in 1991 and sentenced to five years in prison, which he served. He is now working as a journalist and serves as the editor-in-chief of Wired News, where he contributes to public interest. One of his notable contributions was writing a detailed article about 744 sex offenders he uncovered from MySpace profiles, which caused shockwaves worldwide. Paulson created a program over six months that scanned the profiles of one million people on MySpace, exposing elderly men with perverse intentions who were engaging with and harassing young children and teenagers. As a result, some of these individuals were brought to court and faced legal consequences, with Kevin Polson playing a significant role in their exposure. Stephen Wozniak Apple I and Apple A were actually inventions by Stephen Wozniak. While studying at the University of California, he created a system that allowed him and his friends to make unlimited long-distance phone calls over the internet and named it Blue Box. The young man, nicknamed Berkeley Blue, used to give away blue boxes to his friends at the university. Later on, Stephen Wozniak made groundbreaking inventions with Apple, and he states, if we hadn't created the blue box, Apple wouldn't exist today. He emphasizes that the blue box was a starting point in Daydrian Lamo, known as the homeless hacker, gained recognition for using the computers and internet connections of internet cafes and libraries. However, it should be noted that Lamo did not hack NASA's hidden UFO information or engage in activities, such as obtaining and selling millions of credit card passwords. The information provided in the previous responses is not accurate regarding Lamo's specific hacking activities. It is important to verify information from reliable sources to avoid spreading misinformation. Jonathan Joseph James Jonathan Joseph James was the first hacker to be prosecuted among many hackers who were under the age of 18 in history. He gained recognition as a black hat hacker at just 16 years old. He breached the computer system of the United States Department of Defense and stole software worth millions of dollars. He also made alterations in NASA's system, which eventually led to his identification. Due to his young age, James received only a six-month prison sentence. However, it was stated that if he had been over 18, he would have had to serve at least 10 years in prison. After his release, James continued engaging in hacking activities and was re-arrested multiple times. He left a letter expressing that he had lost control and regretted his actions before committing suicide. Guxifer 2.0 Guxifer 2.0 gained significant attention in the United States for detonating the Democratic Party bomb. Although often confused with another hacker named Gucifer, Gucifer 2.0 is an entirely different individual. 
Geek Cipher 2.0 is known for infiltrating the Democratic Party's computer system and leaking confidential documents to both the media and WikiLeaks. There are many rumors surrounding Geek Cipher 2.0, but their true identity remains unknown. It is believed to have been operated by Russian military intelligence, and Geek Cipher 2.0 later made a statement expressing anger at being attributed to the Russian government for its actions. The reason for this assumption was that the other hacker, Gusefer, was identified as Marcel Laser Lehal from Romania. However, after it was determined that these two hackers were different individuals, the identity of Gusefer 2.0 remained uncertain. Anonymous Anonymous is arguably the world's most popular and highly regarded hacker group. They first emerged in 2003 and place great importance on the concept of social justice, as demonstrated by many of their actions. For example, in 2008, they targeted the Church of Scientology, disabling their websites, negatively impacting their Google search rankings, and flooding their fax machines with continuous black images. In March 2008, a group of anonymous members, now famous for wearing Guy Fox masks, protested at Scientology centers worldwide. While the FBI and other law enforcement agencies tracked some of the more active members of the group, it was stated that defining anonymous as a whole or eliminating them entirely was nearly impossible due to the lack of a real hierarchy within the group. We have discussed 10 hackers who have made a shocking impact in the virtual world and their stories. We could have included more hackers who are worthy of movies and have been involved in many interesting actions. However, we tried to compile the most popular 10 names for you so far. We hope to see you again in future videos. We would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and like our video. Goodbye.